Hello everyone, my name is Rashanon and I will be going through my final year project comparing neural radiance field or nerve techniques. The goal of this project is to implement and compare nerve in the wild technique, which addresses the limitation of nerve on scenes with verbal lighting and transient objects with nerve on novel view synthesis using synthetic datasets. For this project, the implementation is done using TensorFlow 2 deep learning framework with official nerve implementation in TensorFlow 1 as reference. Novel view synthesis is the problem of generating images at unseen views from a sparse collection of images of a scene. An example on the diagram on the right can be seen where there are two existing views of the scene denoted by the green arrow and the image corresponding to a new view denoted by the blue arrow is to be synthesized. Neural rendering is the use of neural networks and deep learning techniques to enhance traditional computer graphics techniques. Recently, neural rendering has gained massive popularity in the field and has been utilized in many applications. One of the notable innovative neural rendering techniques is neural radiance view or NERV. NERV is a novel technique for synthesizing new views from a collection of sparse images where a scene is represented as a five-dimensional continuous vector value function approximated by training a fully connected neural network. A view is generated by traditional volumetric rendering techniques such as rate matching. NERV also uses the important sampling on coarse and fine neural networks to improve sampling efficiency. Despite the overwhelming success for synthesizing static scenes, NERV has a few critical limitations, verbal lighting and transient objects. Variable lighting is when the lighting of the scene is not consistent across images. This violates one of the assumptions of nerve. Transient objects are objects that are not static, which means it can change position with respect to the static scene across images. This also violates another assumption of nerve. The phenomenon of variable lighting can be seen in the following images where the lighting of the hive is of daytime in the left image and is of nighttime in the right image. The phenomenon of transient object can be seen where in the right image, a crowd is present and where in the left image, there is no crowd present. Nerve in the wild or nerve view attempt to address the limitations mentioned. As the limitations is intrinsic to the nerve architecture due to being a core assumption, a modification to the architecture is proposed. Nerve the view takes into account the variability between each training image using global latent optimization technique. This is in the form of appearance and transient embedding, where each image has an associated latent space representation. Furthermore, a transient density and colors and alternative field are also incorporated as output to address for the limitations with transient objects. The experiment pipeline for NERF is shown as follows. First, the dataset is loaded as image camera post pair. Then, the images are casted and scaled, and the pixel rays are generated from the camera pose. During training, pixel rays pairs are sampled from the images for training. For each ray, using stratified sampling, the neural network is queried at the sampling points along the ray to yield the densities and colors along the ray. Important sampling is also used to resample along the ray with higher sampling points. Once the densities and colors are sampled, a pixel can be rendered using discrete rendering equation and the pixel's colors different to the ground truth is used to calculate the loss for the neural network. This is the experiment pipeline for NERF W. This is similar to NERF experiment pipeline. The additional components are as follows. When loading the images, an appearance and transient embedding vector are created for each image. And when we sample the ray, we also pass the appearance and transient embeddings of the ray's corresponding image to render. During training of NERF W technique, both static and transient densities and colors are used to render the pixel. Additionally, the uncertainty field is also rendered. The rendered pixel colors and transient uncertainty are used to calculate the loss for the neural network. And during inference, only the static densities and colors are used to render the final output, which is free of transient objects. Additionally, an appearance for the render output can be chosen through the appearance embedding. For this experiment, synthetic datasets were used. The augmented LEGO dataset is created by using image augmentation techniques using base images from the official NERF synthetic LEGO dataset. The DISCENE dataset is created using Blender and using Blender pattern scripting. It is composed of a static scene with disk on a table and dynamic object, which is the pyramid with reflective sphere on top. For each image, the position, color, and intensity of the light source is randomized to simulate variable lighting, and the position of the dynamic object is also randomized using the pattern script. The image augmentation technique used for generating the augmented LEGO datasets are as follows. Static color blend, where a solid color is blended on top of the non-transparent pixels. Spot color blend is where a color weighted using 2D Gaussian mass is blended onto the non-transparent pixels. And random color patch blend, where a randomly generated color patch, both vertical and horizontal with varying strip color amounts and sizes, is blended onto the image. 
This is the result of comparing NERV on augmented LEGO dataset. Seen from the render images, four artifacts are present in output of NERV in the second column, while the output of NERV W in column 4 are mostly artifact-free. On the rightmost column, both the static and transient head of NERV W is shown. This is to compare the densities encoded in the static and transient head of NERV W. Despite the visual inspection, using the perceived signal to noise ratio or PHNR metric, NERF W does not create significantly clearer image. This may be due to training interaction limitations. For NERF technique, further training interaction does not improve the severity of the form artifact shown in column 3. This is the result of comparing NERFs on the DISCENE dataset. Similar to augmented LEGO dataset, there are severe false artifacts present in the output of the NERF in the second column, while the output of NERF W in the third column are mostly artifact-free. For this scene, the transient density shows a high presence of transient objects in column 4. Based on the PSNR metrics, NERF W outperforms NERF for the DISCENE dataset on all images. Other experiments were also carried out. One is to confirm the effect of the regularization parameter for transient head. The regularization penalizes the model to discourage it from encoding the scene solely on the transient head. With higher regularization, the model is less closely, as more of the scene densities are encoded in the static head rather than the transient head, which appeared as more solid objects during inference as shown. As mentioned earlier, the appearance of a scene can be adjusted by adjusting the appearance embedding vector passed to the model during rendering. Furthermore, since the appearance embedding vector is continuous, a smooth interpolation of the appearance can be performed as shown. In this project, I have re-implemented NERF using TensorFlow 2 and implemented NERF W using TensorFlow 2. The comparison between NERF W and NERF on scenarios with variable lighting and transient objects are shown, and shown that NERF W indeed were able to address those limitations of NERF. Due to hardware resource limitations, it is not possible to attempt to reproduce the results in the NERF W paper. For future work, to verify the implementation, an attempt at reproducing results in the NERF W paper can be performed. Thank you.